Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for Married to Medicine Season 1 Episode 7. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. So, we're still at Noelle's little birthday party and we have the intuitive, you know, trying to get all the information she can about Jasmine. Jasmine's like, you don't need to know my husband's name because he's not here and that's not really important. I thought the whole point of this is that you know about me. I shouldn't have to tell you, you know, my husband's name, my date of birth for you to get the information out of me. I thought the whole thing was I sit down and you tell my name. This is like, this is the whole, this is where she's going, but you know, she was basically like... Whatever you have to tell me, I already know that about myself. So I'm going to excuse myself. And I just want to know, are you certified? Where you get your certificate from? I just want to know. She's like, I got it from my grandmother. I got it from my ancestors. She's like, uh-huh, exactly what I thought. I get that from my grandparents too. Which go, I'm going to exit the stage left, okay? Because I ain't got no time for this. Because the intuitive was saying how she likes to, um, she can align energies. I made wrong she said that but she said she does exorcism and all that other stuff but Imani she just wants to know about this whole situation with the daddy now her mama then told her and we the viewers have told her basically you need to check your daddy the dudes he ain't been in your life since you've been eight years old went out got clean had a whole nother child out here and still don't want to do what you told you he will see if he wants to see you that's all the answers you did. When you contacted him 14 years ago and you still have yet to see now when I'm now correct me if I'm wrong, she hasn't when she contacted him 14 years ago, she she hasn't seen him since she's eight. She contacted him 14 years ago and still hadn't seen him. And find out he has a whole new child out there. So you got all that and right now in mind it. Chuck him this and keep on about your life. Your husband told y'all you don't need that negative energy in your life because you steady trying to get this man to have a relationship with you. That's going to affect your life at home because you're going to be starting getting mad and all that other stuff. Chuck that man and do some going back to business. He gave you life and he gave you a sister. Just like your mama said, you don't need nothing more from that man because clearly he does not want to be in your life at all. So you've done your part. Going back to business. 14 years ago when you contacted him and he still didn't want to see you then and he didn't text you, he'll see whether he wants to be in contact with you. You don't, you don't need that man in your life. So, Imani is speaking on FaceTime with her sister. I think this is the first time that they've actually like seen each other. It's all been like talk, text, and all that other stuff. And she tells everybody that she knew growing up that she had a she had a sister, and she questioned the dad as to why. Um, wait a minute. And why he wasn't in Monty's life like he was her? I said like, that is a good question. My question is: Is the daddy? Oh, hold on. I don't know if she asked it or like if I was asking that. Did she ask that? How come you not in Imani's life? Cause my nose is all messed up, y'all. I apologize. This dog go piling, got your girls, mine doing all kind of stuff. And do y'all know how autocorrect we get? But you know she on Facetime with the sister. They're talking. She's like, yeah, I knew I had a sister when I was growing up. I think it was my question was. Did she ask the dad, okay, if I have a sister, how come you're not in her life? How come she's not in my life? How come I've never met her? What's good? Is the sister and the daddy still in communication? Because I believe they live in the same city. But Imani, you got your sister, you got your mama, you got your husband, you got your son. That daddy just seemed like he no good. Now, I, I know I shouldn't judge people because I don't know that man or I don't know his life. But the fact that you left your child and never returned... You know good to me, in my opinion. Now, yeah, you left because you had your issues, but, you know, you did that because you didn't want that around your child. But, you know, you, you she full grown now. You out here working, seeming like you got yourself better. You ain't got no excuses why you won't be in money's life. I don't think she's good. I think she should have been checked you to do this 14 years ago. When you left her that text, but it's like, I'll see what, what you need to see. It's either yes or no, you won't be in my life. Like I said, check him this and go about your business. Shanique, she's dealing dealing with being a working mom and missing out on her school at her kids' school activities. The daughter had, I believe, volleyball and she wasn't able to make it because, you know, she's working here, there, and ever there. She's trying to be super mom and super walk 
super mom and super wife to prove that she can do it all. She can, you know, be a boss at whatever, you know, being a man trip, all these luxury buildings and whatnot. She can be a wife. She can be a mother. She can get her kids up for school, take them to school. She can come home, cook, get the kids homework together. She can do all that. But the thing is, she's stressed all the way out and she doesn't see as maybe I should, you know, back back. You know, give some responsibilities at work to somebody else. That way I can make it to my kids' events. I'm not so tired and stressed out all the time. I can do some other things. And she just, I think she's prides herself on being there. Like, I don't need a nanny. I can do all these things. It's like, almost like, Jasmine, you got one child and I don't believe you have no job. And you out here can't get you and your child together. Girl, please. I'm not saying that, but that's kind of what, like, she be giving... That's what she's giving me about how she feel about Jasmine. I could be wrong. Speaking of Jasmine, she over is shading Britain about like the food and the alcohol and the seating at her little dinner. Like, first of all, this ain't no grand party. This ain't no birthday party. This is me and my homegirls getting together at my house to have a little bit of food. So what? The Postmates left the stuff like that. Like, I'm not cooking the food. You go over there to that doggo, um, that metal dish that the food come in, get you a serving spoon, put your food on your plate and sit down. I'm not decorating my backyard like that because it's just me and my homegirls. I have the kind of drinks that I like. I'm sorry that you own this. I don't eat or I don't have, I don't consume any type of sugar because I'm trying to keep my body weight. I'm not thinking about my body. She's saying this, but me, I'm the kind of person like I'm going to have some food. Like this is not no fruit fruit type of situation. And I'm going to just need Jasmine to know I'm going to be looking out for you. Next time you have any type of party or social event, I won't crystals i want the finest of the china i want you to have the best of the best of chefs i want all that since we out here shading britain's little with food and like the chairs and her alcohol selection like it's a get together for your friends so and she was a brush in Imani because she thought, they thought Imani's the body. A body got a beautiful body. A good body. I wish I had that body. I had that body. But I like to eat sweets and not exercise. And that's my problem. I'm trying to do better. I, I, always, I already drink a lot of water. I just like, I need to do better with stop eating all the sweets. I, this ain't even about me. We going on. Shadik, she's still stressed out. Or her husband, her husband's solution is, why don't you just quit your job? You so stressed out. There's a pipe didn't bust at your job, so you on call. I would love to switch you my job. My on call job is stressful. You want to switch? Now they bickering over about the kids' bedtime. It was, I already thought it was like them kids going to bed. It's like it's ten o'clock. Them kids ain't in bed yet. I remember when I was little. I was in bed early. My mom had me and my brother in bed early. And like, but his whole thing is, um, I want to see my kids. I want to go a whole week without seeing my kids because they got to go to bed early. But thing is, you keep them up late, they're going to be too tired to get up. They're going to be falling asleep in school. Okay? His whole thing is, well, I, I could just wake the kids up. And if I had to be on call, you can go ahead and put them back to bed. And I'm like, no, sir, that's not how it works. No. Mm-mm. We're not doing that. The kids getting in bed at this time. I'm sorry that your schedule prevents you from seeing the kids in the afternoon like I would like you to, but help rearranging their whole schedule and you calling this like basically saying their schedule is ridiculous. No, the kids need to be, they need to be, be in bed on time so they can get them a sufficient amount of sleep so I can get them up in the morning and get them off to school. But I was, I was tired out here for a minute. I was like, I ain't like that. Just like, okay, I'm going to just go ahead and do this. And you just, I'm going to wake the kids up so I can see them because I ain't seen them all day. And if I have to get called back to work, that's your problem. You need to handle it. I'm like, really, sir? That's what we're doing? Anyways, that was the just. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day. Free 99. If you're returning and you a family member, you're one of my peoples, welcome back. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.